Brian Adams, so happy it hurts. The Chilterns MS Centre have formed a new association with Ashridge Home Care. Qualified personal carers can offer much needed support so everyone can remain in their homes with just the right amount of tailored help to make life enjoyable. Colin's been speaking to Stella Cabell from Chilterns MS Centre, but first, here's Abby Langdon from Ashridge Home Care with more. We're really pleased at Ashridge to be working with the Chiltern MS Centre. We work alongside many charities and we like to support many charities, national as well as local, but to have a formal association with a local charity just based down the road from us in Wendover, we're in Amersham, is really great. And Stella can probably give you some of the background quite nicely. Yeah, so it, it came about, we've um, we've known of Ashridge Home Care for, for a long time. And actually, within our membership, so people that, that use the Chilterns MS Centre, we have people uh, that are living with MS and their carers. And more recently, as well, just last year, we started to introduce Parkinson's members, Parkinson's carer members, stroke members and stroke carer members as well. And with that cohort of people, it's very often that our staff get asked about care options. And those questions might come from the members and they might come from the carer members. And so where we can or where we've known just through word of mouth, we've we've been able to say, well, we've, we've heard this is good. And, and so we know it's a topic that really interests and is relevant to our, our membership. And everything we do is is striving to, to help that membership. So when... Um, Trudy, who's the founder and MD of um, Ashridge Home Care and, and has been a supporter and, and is, is known at the Children's MS Centre. The more I got to know about Ashridge Home Care through her and all of the awards it was winning, the more I thought, well, this, this just makes sense because what they're doing is it, it helps the questions that are being asked within the centre. Um, so we started those conversations and started to see how could we do something that is beneficial for the, the members and, and the charity um, together so that, that we can we can both achieve our, our aims as an organisation and as a charity. So that's where it all came from. One of the key parts of this collaboration seems to be some, some workshops that you'll be running, which sound fantastic and are really beneficial to, to many people as well. Yes, absolutely. So um, we do workshops um, within the the centre already, um, but they could be things, anything from um, bereavement or working with with companies for holidays, you know, and uh, if there's a disability, you know, what, what are good places to go away. So there are already workshops that happen. And actually, this will be the first time we've taken um, an association to as part of a workshop, because it makes sense for our care members. And um, so we're not suddenly inventing workshops that weren't already there. This is perfect content, really relevant content for the workshops that we've already got going on. So it's great. And and I have no doubt it'll be exceptionally well received by members. So yes, there will be some workshops um, throughout the year. To back that up, the delivering the workshops, I mean, that's something that Ashridge is very passionate about and supporting people out in the community as well as caring for them in their home. And that's, like Stella said, partly how this association came about, because Trudy and some of our other employees are very active in going out into the community and delivering workshops to um, older people groups, to um groups with special requirements and it's all about promoting independent living and promoting the fact that no circumstances should prevent you from living at home in the in the home that you've lovingly created over many many years most of the time and where you're happiest with your friends and neighbors so these workshops really will help showcase to people how they can stay independently at home even if they've got some extra requirements that just need the right kind of tailored help no definitely instead how do you hope that the the people that use your center can can really benefit from this this collaboration between the two of you i think one of the biggest things that will offer to members is is knowledge and with that knowledge comes that relief of somewhere else to turn. The conditions that the Children's MS Centre support are lifelong conditions. Once you get those diagnoses, they're the 
there isn't a cure. And there's only a limited amount of resource um, available on the NHS who do a phenomenal job. Um, but if you're diagnosed, particularly with MS, which is likely to be a di- diagnosis in your 20s and 30s, you no, know, it, it's, it's not life limiting. So there, there's, there's years and years of, of, of um, fun and independence ahead, but it might be slightly different. So knowing and having the knowledge that there are organisations like Ashra Time Care out there, if and when the the time is needed for um, a bit more support, as as um, Abby said, to 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 stay at home and to have um, that support and independence at home, then that's fulfilling our vision as a charity, as to which is making sure people living with these neurological conditions can continue to live life to the full. And living life to the full is all about independence and it's all about maintaining, you know, that independence at home or at whatever level it is possible. So that's what I think the members will get, a knowledge of if and when those those steps are needed, that there, there is there is support out there. And it sounds like a real reassurance as well for people, because I'm sure you get a really common sort of questions and concerns from people who, you know, at, at, at times, probably initially, they probably feel like it's just happening to them. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was just um just recently um there was a, there was a conversation uh just just downstairs in our our cafe. Um somebody was saying but uh, my my husband is going to uh, be having a, a small operation um and and so what what am I going to do in terms of support in that in that interim time during his recovery and actually it's things like that that um is where somewhere like Ashra Home Care could be an option um, for, for respite care. Um, so it's just being able to give an option, give a, give a, a potential solution um, and, and be able to kind of answer those conversations with a, with a bit more knowledge. And Abby, it must be a really uh, sense of pride for everyone at Ashra Home Care to be able to contribute in this way as well. Absolutely, yes. Everyone at Ashridge is always very keen to um, learn. We're very progressive in the way that we create bespoke, tailor-made training programs for the carers so that this is, you know, another aspect, another outlet of, of something that they can learn to add to their toolbox of skills kind of thing. And there's lots of charity ways, some fundraising events coming up that I know we're going to gather behind as a team. There's a run coming up, which we're going to be doing. So, you know, because to us, it's really important to raise funds as well for local community initiatives like the MS Centre. And Stella, does this mean that you you can do more uh, going forward as well? Yes, it, well, it, well, it does. I think when when working with um, with an organisation that that has um, such strong values and awareness like Ashridge Home Care, it can be exceptionally beneficial um, for a charity. And and for for us, we're, we're delighted to be associating with them because then it means that our reach is wider. You know, that could be through conversations that um, employees at Ashridge Home Care are having with with their patients, with the people that, that they support, and saying, you know, have you heard of the Children's MS Centre? Have you heard of the support that they give? So actually it can help us in awareness, bringing beneficiaries that may not have heard of our charity, and then we can support them. It can also help us with um, awareness with other local businesses if they see, you know, the way that the Astro Home Care are particularly uh, grasping the fundraising, as Abby said, they're going to be all donning their uh, Children's MS Centre running vests in a couple of months and doing a big run. So that's really good for us as well to show, you know, we, we look after our corporate associations and, um, and and we have a bit of fun as well. So it's good in terms of bringing in potential beneficiaries. It's good in terms of um, local awareness. Um, and then obviously it's, it's good in terms of supporting you know, as a charity we rely on the generosity of, of the local community to be here and um, so it's associations like this that can really help that so many angles that it will support the charity and Abby obviously that's something that you'd echo as well oh I'm 100% yeah I mean it, it works both ways it's great for us to be associated with a local charity like the MS Centre but equally we're really passionate about showing people that, you know, there is a bit of a stereotype that as soon as you have a diagnosis of some sort, you think, oh, gosh, I'm going to lose my life's got to change drastically and things are going to be so different. And as Stella said, a lot of the time, if the diagnosis comes at an earlier age, in your 20s and 30s, that's like a peak time when you want to be having your independence from your family. So 
for us to be able to talk to an audience directly to an audience to showcase that um, you don't have to have a living care or there's different different care options you could have someone just popping in on you two or three times a day if you need or um, just for a couple of hours once a day there's so many different options and it's trying for us trying to break down that stereotype of what care means you know it's great for us to be able to talk to a fantastic charity community like the MS Centre has to showcase the different ways of being independent and still living with an illness. And Stella, how can people find out more about what's on offer at the MS Centre? Well, definitely check out our website. So we've got childrensmscentre.org. So please do, do take a look at that. You'll, you'll find lots. We've, we're pretty big on, on our social channels as well. So that would be Children's MS, um, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. We're, we're all over that. Or just give us a call. Come in. We're always welcoming people. If you're, if you're unsure, you can, you can come in, have a little look around, see what we could do. You know, the list of things that, that we do here. I'm trying to name a few, but if I, I will definitely leave some off because it is so vast. Um, but for our members, it, there's uh, physiotherapy, there's occupational therapy, hydrotherapy, oxygen treatment. We've got a counsellor, a dietitian, speech and language therapist, exercise therapist, Pilates specialist, um, and lots of therapeutic leisure groups as well. So, yeah, the problem is if I miss someone, they might, um, they, I'll get a finger wag saying, miss me, because there's just so, so much here. It is also a really wonderful, warm social atmosphere as well um, for people meeting other people in similar in similar circumstances and that could be um, a circumstance of somebody with the the same condition or it could be the circumstance with somebody who's living with somebody with the same condition there's both both of those situations it's great to have a good chat at our cafe and talk and share and look after each other so yeah loads of ways to find out about it loads of things to do to do here um the other thing I should absolutely say is, is to to come and be a member of the charity. It's £25 annual fee. That is the only, and I'm going to say in inverted commas, on a radio in inverted commas, um, the only mandatory fee, even that we do have a hardship fund. Um, on top of that, we do rely on donations for the charity. So it is something that, that we are passionate is accessible to everybody and your finances are, are not taken into an, in, in account. You can access all of those treatments for free once you remember. So yeah, please do, please do come in and, and see and learn more or have a look on our website. And as you highlighted, I think it's the social aspect that people value so much, isn't it? Absolutely. That's a big, big thing. And I think with some of those um, conditions as well, it can be quite common that um, there might be early medical retirement or just a change in um, everyday activity. And so to be able to come somewhere where you can share the all of the differences that that might bring with it, um, the difficulties and sometimes the laughs and a bit of banter. You know, there is a wonderful, wonderful atmosphere here. Very, very warm and and all ages as well. Um, those conditions uh, diagnosis can be at, at all ages. And so, you know, we've got we've got members in their twenties, we've got members in their eighties, and we're all mingling together. And it's it, it's wonderful. And the, the social aspect is enormously good for mental well being, mental health as well. Everything that Stella's just outlined is something that Ashwood really believes in as well. We like to support our carers in giving them ideas of things to do that they, if you know, if they've got able-bodied clients. So the fact that um, the MS Centre has got some great community events coming up that our carers can bring their clients to. You know, they're not all housebound. They like to be out and about. They like to be part of the community. They like to be supporting local things. So we're an Amersham based company, but we work all across Buckinghamshire and Hertfordshire. So it's really nice that we can tell our, our local carers about what's happening in the area that they can bring their clients to. Like Stella said, it's got such a wonderful atmosphere. As soon as you walk in, you get such a really friendly and welcoming and cared for feel that that's something that our carers really value about working for us, that they, we help them with ideas of what to do with clients. And similarly, I guess if people want to find out more about Ashridge Home Care, they can just search online and, and get all the information there. Yes, yes, absolutely. We're all modern. We've got the website and there's Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. So it's always worth keeping an eye on those and seeing what's happening. 
And Stella, how would you sort of sum up what, what the main message you'd like to get across about this association going forward is? For, for me, it's, it's, it's exciting. It's being able to, to, to work with a, an award-winning um, company, local company, that could benefit our members um, and, and hopefully also by working together, um, we can tell more people and spread the word even more about what the charity is doing and, and help more people in our local area together. Online, on Radio Player and on 106.6 FM, this is Wickham Sound.